A computer is a complex machine that contains several different components. All these parts slash components function together to make a computer work. Here we are going to describe all the parts and help you identify these parts easily. A computer is defined as the common operating machine purposely used for technical and educational research. You will also find several technical definitions on the internet but in simple words, a computer is a machine that helps you perform various activities like browsing the internet, creating documents, watching movies, listening to songs, playing games, making notes, saving photos, storing data, and other technical. List of hardware components of a computer Input devices Output devices Motherboard CPU Processor GPU Graphics card RAM Storage Optical drive SMPS Additional components Keyboard A keyboard is an input device that lets you insert data into the computer. It contains several keys including, alphabets, numbers, special characters, and function keys to send information into the computer. There are both wired and wireless, connected through Bluetooth, standard and compact keyboards, as well as gaming and multimedia keyboards. Mouse A mouse is a small handheld device that helps users to navigate the operating system and perform actions. Similarly, there are wireless, wired, standard, and gaming mouse available in the computer market. Scanner A scanner helps you scan and transfer documents to the computer. It helps you turn the physical documents into digital. Mostly scanner comes along with printer devices. Gamepad or joystick Gamepad is another type of input device that is used only while playing computer games. Microphone It is a device that helps you record and transfer audio into the digital form. Webcam Webcam records videos as well as capture pictures and shows them on your computer monitor. It also contains a microphone that records audio. Monitor The monitor is a primary output device and one of the most essential parts of the computer. The CPU transfers the computer language into human language and displays it on the monitor. Speaker CPU uses the speaker to transfer the output into the audio form. Printer You can use a printer to convert digital documents and pictures into physical form. There are several types of printers, and some of them come with a built-in scanner. The motherboard is the core of the computer. All the devices, components, are connected with each other through the motherboard. As you can see in the image, it looks very complicated with all the circuits and input slots. You need to connect each and every component of the computer to the motherboard through the input slots, cables, or ports. The central processing unit also known as processor in short, is the brain of the computer that collects and executes the data. In simple words, the CPU collects data from the input devices, processes it using the other components, and sends back through the output devices. We suggest you always buy the best processor as it the primary hardware component of the computer, and it is also pretty expensive. There are different types of processors, such as single core, Dual core, quad core, hexa core, octa core, and DECA core. Several companies manufacture CPU chips, but the top ones are AMD and Intel. Some examples of Intel CPU are Intel i3, Intel i5, and Intel i7. Examples of AMD CPU are AMD Radeon 3, AMD Radeon 5, etc. The graphics processing unit is another significant part of the computer. GPU is basically a chip just like the CPU. The CPU was invented to perform basic operations, but, these days, several high-end graphic designing software and games came into existence. Therefore, 
the CPU is not able to process slash handle high graphics. Hence, GPU was invented to handle slash process high graphics and reduce the load on the central processing unit, CPU. GPU runs on a parallel processing technique to perform several graphical calculations at once. Essentially, you can perform basic operations like browsing the web, playing smaller games, watching movies, creating documents, and more with the help of a CPU. But, you will need GPU if you are planning to play high-end games or use graphics designing software. You can run a computer without a GPU, but you cannot run it without a CPU. RAM is the fastest storage device on your PC. When you run any program or activity on your computer, the CPU uses the RAM to store the related data. And when the activity is complete, it removes the data from the RAM. The hard disk is a storage device that stores operating system files, drivers, installed software, and user data. The hard disk sizes from 256 gigabytes to 4 terabytes in general. Compared to RAM and ROM, the hard disk is very slow. In 1991, another storage device was invented with the name of SSD, solid state device. SSD is getting popular these days as it is much faster than the hard disk drive. However, SSD has comparatively low storage space and is very expensive than HDD. Some users use both HDD and SSD storage devices on their computers. Usually, PC gamers use HDD to store their regular files but install games on SSD to get better performance. The optical drive helps users to send or receive data from a disk, DVD. CD, Blu-ray disc. Optical drive can be CD drive or DVD drive. By using the optical disc drive you can copy files from a disc, play disc content, or even write data on the disc. In the olden days, there also used to be a floppy drive, that allows users to receive or send data to the floppy. These days, most users have also forbidden the use of optical drives and started using USB drives as they are much faster and compact. Switched Mode Power Supply SMPS, is also one of the components of the computer that supplies power to the motherboard, optical drive, hard disk drive, and other hardware components. The computer components are sensitive and direct AC power can damage them. Therefore, we use SMPS to convert the AC power into safe DC power. All the components of the computer except input and output devices are assembled in a cabinet, which people generally call a CPU. The hard disks and optical drives are connected to the motherboard and the SMPS through data cables and power cables. There is also a lithium coin cell battery on the motherboard that helps CMOS to save time even when the PC is off. You will also find additional items like exhaust fans in the cabinet. Secondary Storage Devices Storage devices like pen drive, external hard disk, CD. DVD, floppy, etc. helps you send data to the computer's storage device as well as receive from it. You can also call them external storage devices. Frequently Asked Questions What is the difference between a desktop and a laptop? In a desktop computer, you can see the monitor, keyboard, mouse, speaker, webcam, and mic as separate devices. But all these components are built inside a laptop. You cannot easily move the entire desktop setup, but you can easily carry the laptop. What is the difference between computer components and peripherals? Computer components are the essential parts of the computer like processor, motherboard, etc. Whereas, computer peripherals are additional elements used to enhance performance or increase productivity. The input and output devices are also considered as peripherals. Examples of computer peripherals are keyboard, mouse, webcam, external hard disk, USB device, HDMI cables, etc. What are the input devices in a computer? 
The devices that help you input data into the computer are called input devices. Examples, keyboard, mouse, scanner, microphone, etc. When should I replace the battery on my motherboard? The lithium coin cell battery on the motherboard usually works for 5 years but varies on the use of the computer. You need to change the battery if your system time and date are resetting when you restart the computer. Why time and date is not updating on my computer? Changing the coin cell battery on the motherboard could solve the issue from the hardware side. What is motherboard on a computer? It is a circuit board with slots and ports that connects all the other components of a computer. Which is faster, RAM or ROM? RAM stores temporary data, but it is much faster than ROM. Is SSD better than HDD? Both have their pros and cons. SSD is better than HDD in terms of speed, but it is much expensive. Whereas, internal and external HDD are cheap and have 3 to 4 times more storage space than SSD. Does graphics card increase computer space? No, graphics card's sole purpose is rendering graphics to reduce the load on CPU. Is the graphics card necessary for AutoCAD? It is not necessary to have a graphics card for AutoCAD software. You can also work on 3D models on AutoCAD without a graphics card. What is GPU used for? GPU, Graphical Processing Unit, processes graphic calculations for providing better graphics and performance. Do I need a graphics card? If you want to play high-end games or work on designing software, then the graphics card is a must-have component. Which component is part of the memory unit of a computer? RAM, ROM, and hard disk come under the memory unit of a computer. What are the core components of a computer? The central processing unit, motherboard, RAM, and hard disk are the core components of a computer. What are the basic components of a computer? The basic components of a computer are the processor, CPU, motherboard, hard disk, RAM, monitor, output device, keyboard and mouse. Input device. What computer components are important for gaming? You must have a great combination of a better processor, graphics card, and RAM for high end gaming. You can also replace HDD with SSD, or add additional SSD for better gaming performance. What computer components work together? All the computer components are connected to the motherboard and need to work together in order to run it. Computer components to build a PC? To build a PC, you require a motherboard, processor, CPU, RAM, hard disk, monitor, SMPS, optical drive, graphics card, data cables, keyboard, mouse, and a cabinet. Are USB ports computer components? No, USB ports are a part of the motherboard. Does the cold affect computer components? Computer components usually heat up while in process, so you should keep a computer cool. Though, keeping the computer at a freezing point may damage it. How often should I clean my PC components? Dust can damage the fans and cause the computer to heat up. Therefore, it is essential to clean up the PC once in a month or two. What happens when a computer component overheat? Each component of the PC contains millions of transistors, and overheating can burn many of them and damage the components. If a brain was a computer component, what would it be? CPU. The central processing unit is considered the brain of the computer. How to check computer components If the video was helpful, like our video, and subscribe to our channel All Tech Queries, for more tech-related, informative videos, and how-to tutorials. Follow us on other platforms as well. Links in description. Thank you.